Singapore Airlines Flight 286 is preparing for a routine flight to Singapore. In command is a 49-year-old captain with 12 hours and 4, 75 hours of flying time. The cockpit is the co-pilot is a 34-year-old first officer with 1,300 hours of flying time. Also on board is a 38-year-old relief officer with 6,300 hours of flying time. There are three 69 passengers and 20 crew members on board the flight. The aircraft is also a nine-year-old Boeing 747-400. Flight 286 begins its takeoff roll from Akins runway 37, 23 left. 23 left is run uh, Auckland's main runway as that's where the aircrafts take off from. So this that this flight was delayed for like 30 minutes, 13 minutes for fueling issues, and it got away 13 minutes delayed. The flight took off from runway 23 left as told before. Well. The first officer says, V1, rotate. The plane has rotated off the ground, it's now above, but then as they rotate, the rear of the flight just hits the ground. And in the cockpit, that time, uh, the pilots just feel a shock. Like, when you hit the ground, obviously, you, you will feel a huge shock. So the rear of the flight scrapes the ground, and the flight rotates off. And in the cockpit, a stall button indicates that the plane is they're gonna stall. The stall button is only used usually when the flight is actually in a stall. But at the moment, the first officer uh, checks um, the airspeed, and the airspeed is normal. So they believe there's nothing wrong, they're not stalling. So then, what they do is ask the captain and the first two officers, ask the ATC, they've actually suffered a tail strike because. Why not ask? It's safer to do it than not. But the ATC replies saying nothing. The ATC did not respond to the message the pilot sent the first time. But in meanwhile, in the cockpit, there's a stall warning. It's still going on. So they had to check the APU switches and turn off the alarm. So after turning off the alarm, they reach out to the ATC first officer saying, Mayday, Mayday, Singapore 286, we have fire on the APU. Mayday is just meaning the ATC won't trouble you that much when you're on a procedure. They'll actually get informed if you do have an emergency properly. So they will put you on top priority for anything. So after saying Mayday, 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 the ATC instructs the pilots to climb and maintain 1,000 feet and turn left and fly left-hand circuit to 23 left runway the pilots are told they have landing priority as well that just means if you have an emergency you can just use any of the runways there it doesn't matter they'll stop all the flight to make them all short and making this flight their main priority to land safely following orh instructions for apu fire obviously the captain discharges the apu fire bottle the alarm then finally stops properly the first officer asked the controller whether he could see smoke or fire from the tail or engine. The ATC informs them he could see a lot of smoke on the aircraft's rotation from the tail. The pilots then in the cockpit obviously think that it has been a tail strike because when you get a tail strike, the smoke will be out the aircraft. And then the aircraft is right now, as they're following instructions from the ATC to turn left, the left hand circuit to 23 left runway. The pilots are trying to obviously keep the plane under control. They were also told a radio message to the passengers to keep calm and they uh, figured out the issue it was just a tail strike or something. So saying exactly those lines within that to the passengers to make them feel more calm, like every pilot does. So the pilot also start turning left to 1000 feet as they reach that. But then they start to ask the ATC if they have permission to start a fuel dump because of possible f um, landing weights. So the ATC informed them to then follow the route over the water and then come to the airport because if you fuel dump over a land, the fuel will spill on commercial areas. So it's better to do it over the ocean as the flights pollute the ocean instead, polluting and destroying cities. 
but then the off first officer also then says if there was a fire then we can't do a fuel dump because what if that gets the fire out because they didn't know how big the incident that it was at the time so the aircraft then cancelled the fuel dumping request and to go back to the approach request so the ATCs um, accept that again and tell them to go on the same plan the pilots then are now starting their uh, approach now into Auckland's runway 23 left as their final approach the the flaps are already out and everything is set for approach and descent obviously since they have not done the fuel down they on takeoff way the it's going to be harder them, for them to land the aircraft so they need to be extremely quick on the landing and try landing the plane as quick as possible because the plane is going to be overweight because of the fuel usually some incident like this happens like a bird strike in a normal flight scenario the plane has to do a fuel dump if they have to do a return back into the airport because otherwise they'll be overweight but in this case this plane can't do it because the pilots are unsure if they can land because or will will it rupture a fire in the fuselage of fuel tanks the aircraft uh atc asked them if they need any fire any f type of fire assistance the first officer agrees to it and uh, tells them to get the fire systems out, like the fire engines. The response has been accepted, and the flight uh, touches down at Auckland Airport, flight 286. The and the pilots uh, stop on the runway just to see, and also think like, should they evacuate the passengers if there is actually a fire f and evacuate them on the runway? The plane. So they stop the plane on the runway. The fire engines come and check the aircraft still and then they report that to the ATC and the ATC says it's heavily damaged but then they all given the clear to taxi to the gates since there were no gates available after that they were supposed to taxi to a ramp where they were stopped and deboarded off the passengers the tail strike was reported as the passengers uh, got out of the aircraft uh, the plane was put onto a maintenance and then right after that it was back into operation after its maintenance and then it was then retired from from Singapore Airlines as a passenger plane. Then it was converted into a cargo plane. And after 4.5 years of service for that, they, it was later given to Great Wall cargo plane. So that was story. But then other than that, why was it the Australia cost? Another information, the plane was delayed for 13 minutes due to a fuel issue on the flight. So the flight was given more fuel as well on takeoff so with with it being heavy weight also on takeoff like 286 um, was not able to take off that easily like our normal plane does with flaps at 50 percent for normal takeoff rotation the plane was plane got rotation speed but as they lifted off the console of the aircraft the yoke they were not able to lift off because the weight of the aircraft the fuel was on the rear area of the plane was still very heavy so they had to wait some time until they got more speed than usual and then rotate but then obviously at the time the pilots did not know that so they lifted off as if it was everything was normal and then the tail swept the ground in my opinion this is not the pilot's fault it's just um a misunderstanding because the ground crew put in more fuel than it was supposed to be for its full flight from Auckland to Singapore Changi airport the flight landed safely all 369 passengers and 20 crew members were safe, including the two, the three pilots on board. Everyone was safe. Uh, this is the pilots were awarded for this landing the plane safely and following the ORH instructions. The plane performed an ILSS approach into Auckland Airport 23 left, and that was the story of flight. That was how flight 286 had its full flight priority. Obviously, that delayed two other flights and some other two flights which are unconfirmed still at the moment, which got delayed. The plane, this was a very surprising incident to Singapore Airlines at the time. This was just a tiny incident. So, yeah, the flight went on to operation as I told you earlier, later on. And other than that, this was a very, very interesting flight documentary. Uh, what happened to the flight i think this was one of the most interesting flight incidents which have happened 
out there so far because this is a first 747 tail strike but then they got it back safely which is a very nice thing at the time so yeah it still is interesting how what happened now what the fly is doing the fly is now in the hands of great wall and other than that this will be to race of fun hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe and like the video i'll see you in the next video